Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme Development. In the previous episodes, we have learned about how to build the payment gateway integration with Stripe and other options. Now we're going to learn about how to deploy our project. Okay, so we're going to deploy in Vercel, which is free, and I'm going to use GitHub. So I'm going to deploy it by GitHub, and I suggest that's one of the best ways to do that. So I click on GitHub, authenticating, and I'm logged in, which is great. And now I need the deployment. So I add new project. So this is going to be, I'm going to search that. So that's going to be Next.js WooCommerce. Uh, so we're not seeing that here. So click on configure and then put my password there. Confirm. And then it's going to show me all the other repositories. Okay. So now I can select my repository, which is, I can search for that. So next JS WooCommerce REST API, which is this one. And I can click on save. Okay. So that's been added now. So now I can import it. Okay. There you go. So now I've, I've gone ahead and added that here. And this is my, this framework is of course Next.js, that's fine. And uh, build and output settings. So what does use as the NPM run build? So first we will run that locally and test it. So I've run the NPM run build locally and I've tested that it's all working fine. I can also do NPM run start and make sure that this deployment is actually working yeah, this is working perfectly fine and see, see that that's all working fine. It's pretty fast, which is great. Awesome. So now, uh, this means that, uh, NPM run build is the same command that we have for building the project. So all default, we don't need to override anything here in case if you have customized any of these things, then just go ahead and do that. But otherwise it's not required. And, uh, then we go environment variable. Uh, so there are multiple environment variables we need to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add mine. So you just need to go over here and make sure all of these environment variables are added. Of course, I can't show you mine so I yet, but I'm going to add that. So I'm going to pause it and add it. So now you can see that I've added all of these consumer secret key, webhook endpoint, stripe secret, next public stripe publishable key, next public WordPress site. URL. all of these been added. Okay. All right, so all we have to do now is just click on deploy. Fingers crossed. Let, should we hit it? Let's go. Deploying. Congratulations. Amazing. So we have successfully deployed our Next.js React application. Amazing. Awesome. Good work, guys. Okay. So now if you go to the dashboard and there's your link. Uh, that you can use to view it. And that's your link, basically. Open it a new tab. There you go, perfect. So that's your live site being deployed. I can do add to cart. I can view cart. There's my products. You can proceed to check out fill up the form, place the order. All of those things are working awesome. It's amazing. You can also, you can see all your directories also here, what all has been added. You can see all of that, yeah. Awesome, great. So I'm gonna put this link uh, in the GitHub so you can go and check it out. Congratulations, I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, do click on the super thanks button uh, below the video to to support my work, do star by repository to support my work. I like all the beautiful 134 people have. I'm sure by this time, by the time you're watching this, there should already be more people who have uh, started. And uh, also follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran Sayyad and my Twitter handle is Koditek. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.